free to play friendly. A term that is used in Genshin Impact to describe a team that is made up of mostly 4-star characters or even only 4-star characters. The reason we call these teams free to play friendly is because 4-star characters are so much easier to get than 5-star characters. But are they really now? Genshin Impact is starting to run into a problem with its 4-star characters. A problem that I didn't even notice until I started uploading Genshin Impact videos to YouTube. I've made multiple shorts of team comps that I found entertaining to use, and I described a team consisting of Sucrose, Fischl, Beto, and the Dendro Traveler as being very free-to-play friendly. And on paper, it definitely is. I mean, hell, one of the characters is the character that you start with, the Traveler. And the rest are just 4-star characters. How difficult could they be to get? Well, it turns out that for a new player, it's pretty freaking difficult. On that YouTube short, there were several comments pointing out that they did not own Beto or Fischl or Sucrose. There were even a couple comments that said they had none of these 4-star characters. This was something I couldn't even imagine because I have a C12 Fischl, I have a C15 Sucrose. So I figured that players would have at least one copy of these characters. But the thing is, I've been playing Genshin Impact since version 1.0. I started playing a week after the game released. And at that time, there were not as many 4-star characters, which seems obvious. As a gacha game's lifespan increases, they will naturally add more characters. But in Genshin Impact's humble beginnings, it was much easier to obtain all of the 4-stars because since the pool was so much smaller, the banners cycled through all of the 4-stars much more frequently. Genshin Impact has always had a system where on the current event banner, there is always one 5-star character along with three 4-star characters. On the event banner, the 4-star characters on it have their pull rates increased. Three was a decent selection when Genshin first released because the game only released least with 14 4-star characters. So if they changed every single character, every banner, it would only take you 5 banners to see every 4-star character on a banner. Except 3 of those 4-star characters don't even show up on event banners. These 3 being the starter characters, Kaya, Amber, and Lisa. These are characters that are just given to you at the beginning portion of the game. So it actually would only take 4 banners for you to see every 4-star character that you could see on a banner. Because of this, you would see these same 4-star characters pop up very frequently. It even got to the point where people were pissed whenever Noelle would show up on a banner because they felt like she was on every single banner. This is why every veteran Genshin player has a C6 copy of most of the early 4 stars. And it's also why I never noticed this problem with Genshin Impact. But new players weren't playing when the same 4 stars constantly got cycled in. So there were actually many new players who don't have some of the game's most powerful 4-star units, like Bennett, Sing Cho, Sucrose, or Fischl. There was somebody who started playing during Sino's initial run, and after they'd been playing for about 3 weeks, they started asking me for team comp recommendations, and a lot of the teams that I was recommending involved Sing Cho. They didn't have Sing Cho. My 1.0 Genshin brain could not even fathom not having Sing Cho. Like what? They wouldn't even have the chance to roll for Sing Cho until eight banners after they had started playing, which is crazy for me to think about. Honestly, we were spoiled in the early days of Genshin. But also, we had to live through the struggles of 120 resin cap and we didn't have the catch. So I mean, fair is fair. You are guaranteed a four star character every 10 pulls. You are only guaranteed a five star character every 90 pulls. 90 is bigger than 10. That's how math works. So theoretically, 4 stars are more free to play friendly than 5 stars. But the problem is that in Genshin Impact, while you can eventually guarantee the 5 star character that you want, there is no guarantee for 4 star characters. You can do 70 pulls, get the 5 star character that you want, and not get a single copy of the 4 star character you wanted. As a 1.0 Genshin Impact player, I took 4 stars for granted. When Fischl showed up on a banner that I also wanted to pull on and I ended up not getting her, I would just be like, oh, you know what? It's fine. She's going to show up in two banners anyways. It's okay. But the four star character pool has gotten so much bigger and yet the banner still only houses three four star characters. So what used to take you only one to three banners of waiting to see the four star you wanted show up again now can take up to 16 banners. Each banner lasts for three weeks. That's 48 weeks. It once took 48 weeks for Yan Fei to show up on a banner again. Now, Hoyoverse obviously realized that this was an issue because they upped the amount of 5-star characters that appear during an event. They gave us two different event banners that featured one of two 5-star characters, but each banner featured the same three 4-stars. 
And this situation is only going to get worse as they continue to add more 4-star characters into the game. It will soon get to the point where it will be more likely for a new player to have some random 5-star character than Sucrose because it's been a year since she's shown up on a banner because we now have 87 different 4-star characters. I know that it's a common practice to only wish on a banner for the 5-star that is being featured. You know, building pity, it's a lie. Don't wish for a 4-star character, it's a trap. It might get to a point where you have to just start wishing for four star characters. If Genshin doesn't fix this problem, we are going to get to a point where new players are like, damn, I really don't want this five star character. But it's been two years since I've seen my boy Benny on a banner, so I'm going for it. Someone might ask, well, why don't they just up the amount of four stars on a banner so they can cycle through more four star characters per banner? And yeah, more four stars would be present on the banner, but that wouldn't fix the problem of you wishing 70 times, getting the five star that you want, and then never seeing the four star that you want. It actually increases the likelihood of this happening because by adding more four stars, you are upping the chance that you don't pull the four star that you want but they still could do this if they added a new mechanic. What would be really cool is if they upped it to five four-star characters per banner and then gave you the option to pick one of the four-star characters. By picking a four-star, they could make it so that every time you get a four-star character, there is now a 50% chance that you get the four-star you opted in for, but also a 50% chance that you get some other random four-star on the banner. This makes every four-star a 50-50, which I think is still pretty fun for the player wishing. They could also just put three different four-star characters on each of the banners, but I think this could make people feel bad because maybe the four-star character that they wanted ends up on the other banner that they are not going to be wishing on, and that would suck. But this is definitely a problem that needs to be fixed. There are Genshin players out there that still don't have a Bennett. Imagine playing this game with no Bennett. Couldn't be me. There are some people with no Sing Cho. That's, that's wild to me. Like, maybe, maybe I could play the game with no Bennett, but no Sing Cho? Like, are you even playing Genshin Impact at that point? I don't know when or even if Hoyoverse will address this problem, but it needs to be fixed or else I will even start noticing the problem. If a person who has been playing basically every day since version 1.0 somehow notices this problem, your game has issues. Like Fremenet, I want Fremenet, but I already have Zhongli, I already have Child, the best character in the entire goddamn game. And I don't really need constellations for either of them. So what do I do? Do I remain Fremenet-less, Baguette-less, Croissant-less for six months until they show up on a banner again? Then it turns out I don't want that five star either. So then I wait three years for the next Fremenet banner. By then, I'm not even playing the game anymore. Do I log in just to get a copy of Fremenet? Even though I'm not even playing the game anymore? Is that what you want in Hoyoverse? Anyways, subscribe if you liked the video. And just remember, you don't have to believe in yourself. Believe in me. Believe in the me that believes in you. And I'll see you in the next video.